So in the last episode, we have seen we, when we use this database transaction trait, it will roll back whatever we uh, create on the database. So what if I don't use this database transaction? You can see on our database user table is empty, but as soon as I run this, yes, new entry is created and this is not ideal case. So this is good for the database transaction, but now I want to use instead of database transaction, I want to use database migration. What it will do? So let's see, we have this entry here. So if I now run the test, run the test, again successful, test is successful, but here refresh, you can see it says nothing even the tables are not there what happened here there is some problem with this database migration so let's now see what this file is saying first thing first it just run this itison command of migrate fresh and as soon as everything is done it will roll back everything so now you can see after running everything it just roll back everything that means no table is here so this is the main difference between database transaction, transaction, database transaction, just roll back the data only, but database migration roll back whole the migration. That means the table also, but this is not the ideal case and this is not we want. So what we need and why is that? So we don't want to deal with the database. We don't want to touch the database while we are testing. So we need to create a testing environment for that if you go to php unit here we have defined various things for our testing environment app environment is testing and the session is all these things so let's do one more thing here we will provide the database db connection but what db connection we are going to use is that we need to create another table or another database for testing no if you go to this config file uh, config folder you can see we have this database.php and the default one is mysql which we are using but here we have sqlite also so why not use this sqlite okay so let's say my connection is sqlite but again where this sqlite database is on our system we don't have it so now we want our database to be run in memory so the database name and if you don't know you can just go to .env file and now db database we need to use is like this so connection is good and db database is we need to say here between two colon we will say in memory we want to run everything so save this file and now what I will do I will firstly run the migration to have the tables on our database which is here that's good and now if I run this test it passes and in our database if I refresh you can see all things are here so what if I just comment this run the test we know okay <laughs> we have to give the database migration because no such table for that so we need to give but what if I give us entry so one and Sarthak uh, let's say this one and Sarthak at bitfumes.com password is um, anything so this is good and if I run the test again test passes and the database is untouched this is super 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 cool thing while using php unit with database migration and in the next episode as i have promised on the last episode but sorry for that in the next episode we will use the factory to run all these things to create the dummy data on our table so if you have not subscribed to this channel Go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon because here lateral knowledge never ends and just follow Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Share these videos with your friends and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.